welcome to the Vitalis Group. So today we are going to show you how to use the risk meter to measure the viscosity of the liquid. So here is the control panel of the thermostat. So this button means the stop or stop key, and this is the working temperature. So firstly, we open it. So as for now, uh, temperature I set like at the 25 degree. So if we want to change the temperature, there's the cursor case and turn light, shift to light or shift to right. And uh, here is the button to increase or decrease the temperature. And uh, for the left button, so this one means the high temperature volume limited. So you can set the magnesium degree of you um, which, uh, which you like. And then the optically this Bottom means the low temperature warning limited. So for the lightning, uh, the first one means the indicator lightning heating. The second one is the cooling, and the third one is for the alarming. So if your temperature degree is over the magnesium degree that you set, it will alarm alarming. That's it. The, and when you set your temperature, okay, then you press enter, then start it. So that's it. And now we are waiting the temperature going to the 25 degree. Then we are going to loading the liquid. So basically there are several different types of the capillary. Uh, so uh, it depends depend on the internal capillary how thin it is. So it's including different types. For this one, it's like the IC and uh, this one is the one so uh, so next uh, next we are going to load in the liquid with the ic type capillary so basically i'm going to use uh, the syringe to load in the liquid uh, which is more convenient so hold the capillary and uh, use one of your finger inside the finger and push it and it will go off And then this is the buffer. So from the capillary, it has two lines. So the magnesium building is the is the top line, and uh, it's better if you fill the liquid volume between the two lines. And then connect to the, these two cables. Then there are two options. Uh, if you want to do your experiment and the room temperature, so just keep it like this way. Otherwise, you can put it into the transparent to the most to get the temperature if you want. So now we are going to open the software. Software is IVISC from the loader. And then firstly, we are going to measure the kinetic uh, kinematic viscosity. So from the right corner, we are going to choose the capillary which one we are using. So from now, we are using the IC. So we click to the IC and. Uh, Load it to the capillary number. It will show the capillary number automatically, and then we choose the measure model. So as far now we are measuring the catabatic viscosity. So that's it. And temperature, and um, because we are using the thermometric, the temperature set at twenty-five degree. So we don't need to change it. And then the sample identity. So for now it's like the pH nine buffer. That's it, and uh, you can also set the sam sample number and the operator. That's it. So, and uh, by the way, please to make sure there is a green point. It means it connected with equipment. So, if it's the the right bottom right point, it means it's disconnected. So, please check the equipment or restart the software again. So, 
and everything are done. So let's click start. So from the parameter and um, for the measurement parameters part, it will show you if you need the pre measurement. As for now, we don't need, we don't set the uh, pre measurement. If you need it, just uh, and after the met this measurement and uh, set how many times you need for example two or three as many as you need and then the mean measurement at least just three times then it will give you the standard deviation at the same time okay, so after we measure the kinetic viscosity we are going to measure the relative viscosity then we need to fill more content so from here the concentration the concentration uh, is for your the concentration of your solution so for my samples it's like a one milligram per meal so when transfer the unit it's like 0 0.001 and for the solvent viscosity it depends on the kinetic viscosity that we just measured so from the result is it's like 0 0.98 so that's it and then uh, don't forget to change the model is like hardness and uh, if everything is set down just uh, click start